guys, welcome back to another video of Brooks Bros Fishing. And today, um, I'm gonna give you guys a room tour, share my favorite soft plastics out of all these that you guys can't really see, talk more about my Shimano Kais, and then, yeah. And so, this is actually our bedroom, and um, we turned it, we just made all of our gear. We're sorry for not sticking to the, um, the video where it said our new filming studio. We just didn't want to do that. That was like a playroom, too much of a mess, like Legos and stuff like that. We just didn't want to have a messy room while we were filming in. And um, so we just, I just put all of our gear in our bedroom. And so I guess this is going to become our, basically our new filming studio or as long, we'll just, We'll film in here when we want to, which will probably be all the time because we already have all our gear in here. We've got a bass poster, a picture I made right there, and then a picture on the white door that you guys can't see. Um, and then in front of me, you guys can't see these, but we've got soft plastics and we've got net rigs and claws and stuff. Actually, we have, where are they? Oh, here I forgot to set these up, but we also have some more frogs, and I'm going to be going over my favorites, and so let's dive right in. We've got, let me just tell you guys what we got first. We got Rage Tails, um, Rage Baby Menace, Glacier, Zoom Triple and Black. Um, my dad has the rest of these, but there's two more in the pack. Zoom, Trick One Candy Bug, some yum, some five inch dum dingers, um, smoke red pepper. Some of these lures are from when we show you guys um what we got for Bass Pro for for um the lures of Lake Miramichi and um so um, yeah, we got done from our, we just got home from Maramichi yesterday, I think. And, um, then we've got some Baiwa, I think that's how you pronounce it, Baiwa Craws, Fishing Performance, Warix, Hyper Action Craw, um, color is Okeechobee, okay. Then we've got some Zoom Craws, some some zoom speed cross, Sungale. And we've got some Nedricks that I haven't opened yet, so I can't really share my opinion on those. Uh, Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits, Sankos. Um, I can't really see because, like, these we got these, like, last year, maybe two years ago, and still haven't used that many of them. But as long as I can see, I think it says, like, green, pumpkin, blue. And yeah, so that's all the soft plastics and stuff I have in front of me. And I'm going to be um, sharing my favorite ones so far because some of them I haven't really used. Like, I tried to text and shred these, just kept, like, breaking and stuff. So I'll give my opinion on that. Plus, I didn't really lose them that, um, use them that long. So I can't really, you know, I'll give my opinion so far uh, as, like, along with some of the other ones that I haven't really tried that much. But yeah, starting with the Rage Tails, um, we're rating up to five stars. So, just because we're going to do another rating video in the future, as probably because I've, in the future, I'm going to be, probably at that point, I'll try all of these. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and give these a 4.5, because I've already caught a fish on them first cast with it with the um along with the white chatterbait I think I lost. Um so here's a story to that about my first bass. Um that was my first bass up in Link Mer uh this last week. So the day we got there we're like exploring, catching frogs, catching turtles, we're going fishing for bluegill with literally one minute and we see this big bass and our poles were down there. I run up to like the, like the garage thing, get my poles, run back down, and and um, the the quantum with that was on the ugly stick at that time wasn't rigged up with a lure. It just had the weight, cause that would have been sweet. 
but I was practicing in the backyard the week before, so we didn't change it. And um, because this was a minute in, we are still getting settled. Then my dad was talking to the people who, who owned it, which I can't share. I'm sorry, but anyways, I get my Ike dude, which is the one right there, the white and black one, and it has the white chatter bait with the red shale glaciers. I just throw it out, the bass goes right down and catch a baby bass. We didn't know the pounds because my dad comes running down, um, didn't have like any of the gear. Again, this was like a minute in. So I've only caught one fish on that, but first cast, that's why I'm giving it such a high view for only one cast, a couple, one cast with it. I might have casted it a couple, like, uh, like to be honest, like two other times, but. So 4.5 on those. Five stars on these guys. All right, so here's the story. Ta how I got these. Hi, Abe. Um, so. I'm going to share a little bit about this too, which actually has cool my, thank you, Jesus, I didn't break that. Holy, what the heck? Let me um see if my rod tip is okay. Um, um, okay, dang guys, I'm more worried about my, worried about my rod tip than my, than the fan. Okay, so you might have heard a little about the story about how I got the Shimano, man, I'm a wreck, guys, you might have heard about this, oh, say hi, Abe. Hi. So you might have heard about how I got this in the video titled My New Shimano Kaias. It actually has a black chick worm on there right now with weight. So I'm telling the whole story about about this and how we got these. So my dad caught a five pounder one day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He caught a five pounder. It was and a very emotional day. Then later I we go back on the pontoon me and him and I wind back with the quantum and the ugly stick my lure gets caught in the chair line snaps and with the weight of the reel I can't blame it blame the reel that much because come on guys I let go of it so we in the lake and um it was right there though so it didn't like it wasn't, it was like a foot away from us. And we were just in too much shock to go jump in and get it. This is 13 feet of water, guys. Dangerous. You don't know what's down there, even though it's just Michigan. So, my dad and mom went on the pontoon, and we're going to try to drag their lures to see if they could snag into it. My dad even said either way, it probably was broken. And my dad at some point was about to jump in, but with too deep of water, my mom just said no. They come, they come, they come back to the, the um, thing, the cabin, and they give me two options. Either use one of my, either use my dad's spinning setup, um, or get an early birthday present. I choose get an early birthday present. We headed out to Jay's, which was an hour away. It was such a hard decision, because I have my mind on the SLX, but they didn't have it in right-handed. So, um, I was worried. I would, I was, had my mind on this, but I was worried because it was seven foot. So I get that, and it's been a game changer. We also pick up some of me and Zechariah's own trick worms. I throw it, I throw a black trick worm that day, caught one. I throw it the next day, and then caught a two pounder. And um, so those were the reviews on that five stars, even though I've only caught two, but they worked. And um, yeah, and I'll give you my review on the um, Shimano Kai Slater. I didn't really use these. My dad let let um, me use them, but I didn't really give the time and effort, so I don't really have a fair judge, fair um, rate. I I use them. I don't think I caught anything, but I wasn't really trying and didn't throw that many times with them. 
I'll give them a 3.5 just because I like I'll actually give them a 4 just because I didn't try that hard but come on guys they're trick worms like they do the job all right now moving on to young dingers so far only 2.5 that's it I'll talk about that Wait, guys, that's an unfair judgment. I didn't really use these that much. I'm going to leave this, these, a question mark. Question mark, because I haven't used these. Um, question mark, because I didn't, threw a couple, I threw a couple, like, four casts with them at St. Clair. Um, question mark, because I haven't used those at all. Question mark. So these four things, five things, are all question marks. So stay tuned for another video to see ratings on those because I'll be writing them soon. All right, guys, the moment you've been waiting for. The rating on, the sh on my Shimano Kais, guys. Look at how sweet that is, the black with the red. Holy cow, that's fire, guys. All right, we've got, that's fire, that's so sick. For for beginners with good bait casters, there should be a button on a lot of the reels, and if you flick it up, and then if you twist this part down, and then twist it up, then you'll see the brake settings. Um, See, I've got the Texas rig on there. Um, I've got the red, it says Caius, about right here. Then it says Kais on the reel, and then it's just Shimano on the rod. Um, hey, Zeki. Um, I'm giving this a five star because I love the way it casts. Even if I don't even try, it casts like, ten, like 20 feet, guys. It is amazing. All right. Oh, yeah. In my drawer right here, I've got all my tackle boxes. So, plastic. I got them on. Yeah, when I'm like, I'm going to shoot stuff. No, you didn't. Yes, These were the, for the family. All right, so so we got the soft plastic. We sometimes put our extra lures. Yeah, I already reviewed those. And then I've got that. My classic tackle box, which I'll show you guys in a minute. My swim bait tackle box, which I upgraded and made changes. And the random tackle box, which I'm about to talk about all of them. I am. So... The main one that I just love made some kind of changes. <laughs> that happened to me. <laughs> um, so we've got the black buzz bait. Oh, I don't think I ever. I don't think I ever showed you guys this, the black buzz bait or my new toad buzz bait. Got those. Got my frogs as usual. I was going to change them, but it just wasn't working out. Got my frogs. Got my popper in here. Jitterbug. And then the sleeper gill. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but I got a sleeper gill and I haven't used it yet. And then the bottom is as usual. I've got my dark sleeper, even though it's, you know, the treble hook section. Because I just wanted it in the main tackle box. All right, me and my papa made a trade, and he gave me, he didn't care if it was fair or not. He gave me this sick Z-Man lipless crankbait. I think it is. It says Team Arc. I don't know what that means, but it has a Z, so I thought that was maybe Z-Man. I could be wrong. This, what I think is Z-Man, says Team Arc. Just because of the eyes, I see kind of a Z, so don't judge me if it's not got my favorite crankbait. I just, I'm getting overwhelmed by the colors. I think they're still sick, but I like those six, six cents um, lipless crankbaits. But my favorite one, guys. And then we've got the Guggen Squad Junior. What is it called? Um, The Junior... I forgot what the Guggen Squad Joke Bakes are called. Please comment down below what they're called. But we got the, the it's a junior version. You can tell by the two trebles. We 
got the Junior Guggen Squad Shark Bite. I think it's Sexy Shad. Sexy Shad. Then, um, I think this color was called, like, Pearl or something. I don't know. We've got this. That came in a mystery tackle box. My dad said that would be fire in the spring. And I kind of agree with him because clear water, bright colors. The bass are hungry. So, makes it good. Put that right there. Dark Sleeper. Um, which... It's like, I'll show you guys the um, sleeper gill, which has the hitting hook too. This one is more of a smally one, because it looks like gobies, and that's basically a lot of what smallies eat. And if you work this on the rocks, this is, in my opinion, more of a smally lure. And um, then we've got just a random, I think, bass pro brand with the shrink bait, bass pro brand. Um, this big swim bait thing that I've been wanting to use ever since I've seen like pro guys and vegan squad guys use them. But that's more of a Texas lure, so if we ever take a trip to Texas or Florida, stay tuned guys because I'll be, I will be using that if we ever get an on camera video of us in Florida, which will probably be next year. All right, all right, let me talk about the sleeper gill. Okay. So, hidden hook effect we've got this little part which is like different the the dark sleeper doesn't have this big tail it says mega bass on the bend and and it's not like skinny it's like big guys that's that's this is it compared to my hand all right so and it's not the dark sleeper shape it goes it's like a bait fish what large mouth would eat so and then down i didn't use this but in my opinion just because it's what largemouth mostly feed on, that's a largemouth lure. All right, just want to show you guys that. Going back in my dresser. <coughs> oh yeah, let me show you the adjustments on this tackle box. I made. I'll close it just so. We we got a big section for all swim baits. We got a jig right here, a buzz bait two um chatter baits some trailers I believe this is a chatter bait and another chatter bait so yeah guys all right now to give you guys a room to it all right to end the video I'm gonna give you guys a room tour so we've got the sick, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the sick bass poster. We got it for my dad's birthday. It's got the spinner bait in the mouth with the large mouth, with the cover, with the sunset. Then this, don't judge me for my pictures. I thought they were good. Comment down below what you think. Large mouth right there. It says large mouth bass. That's my, like, I tried to do a bait caster. These are the things that hold the line. Forgot what they're called. Um, My dad just mentioned them. That's the bait caster. I did like my own custom. But then here is welcome to the tackle room, which we call our bedroom. And it's got the Shimano Caius, which I copied the colors and everything. I thought this was actually pretty good because I did the little guide. Oh yeah, I think these are called guides where the line goes through, the little thing that moves back and forth, the line spool, the button, the reel. Then I got a black trick worm Texas rig on the hook. And yeah, so, and then we got the Plano bag right there. We got, I technically gave this to Zechariah just because I'm more of a bait caster guy. He's got his little bluegill lure on there, Ike dude. And then I don't really use this proficiency, so I'm probably going to give that to him too. Um, but there's his tackle bag. And yeah, guys, also, this is, um, like, we, our mom bought these new shirts says gone fishing it ha i think it's a florida shirt because it has a fish that says tilapia will you give them a quick detour of my shirt all the fish on the back oh sure, sure, sure. wait yeah okay. hold it hold it hold it no other way yeah here guys can they see it i think wait, it here, says here, like here, here. like tilapia trout no, there's that one. Largemouth. Here. No, there's, there's tilapia, largemouth bass, rainbow trout, sunfish, bluegill. 
and puppy catfish. So that's it. Yeah, those they are. They could always see them. Okay, those are that. Those are the fish on the shirt. Got my six cents hat. Um. So we'll see you guys on the the next video of Bruce Rose fishing. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you guys.